Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my review of Saba Gebu, also known as Survival Game Club, episode 10, I believe. Once again, another great episode of this fucking series, okay? Really, it just keeps amazing me. Like, this is probably my favorite episode in the series. Last episode wasn't as great as the previous episodes, right, which I believe I stated before. But this episode definitely redeemed that. My favorite episode in the series so far. Three segments like always. Okay. The first segment, the last segment was definitely my favorite. So I'll get to that last. But the first segment was, was with uh, Sonokawa receiving Mio's gun and asking her to go to, like, to a gun shop or whatever to, to get improvements for it. And so she does. And the fucking misunderstandings at that fucking gun shop is just priceless. She base the, the the lady at the gun shop basically mistakes her for some for like the daughter of a mafia family or something and keeps having the wrong like interpretations of what actually happened b before she came there and stuff and it's just so fucking funny like she she imagines that her that, that her mother is like the head or maybe the lady of a mafia family and gives her a, and that's why she gave her the gun when she was fourteen and that. She's killed many people, like literally killed many people, which I know it seems like she has, but it's stated before in the series that that's only in their mind. So she, had, she hasn't killed people, at least as far as we know, you know. But the misunderstandings are just fucking priceless, okay. And then the second segment had to do with high heels. I'm not even kidding, and I didn't think it was going to be that good, but it actually was, and I actually learned something, too. Now, I'm not sure if it's actually true or not, because this is anime we're talking about here. But if it is true, then it's basically stated that high heels were invented in the 1600s to prevent women from walking in filth, which I've never heard of that before. But then again, I don't really pay attention to this stuff, so it might be true, for all I know. And, I mean, it they portrayed it in a way that makes it seem like it would be true, and that's the, one of those facts that I would actually believe, okay, if... If, like, if I, someone else told me that who knew what they were talking about, I would actually believe it. So, but that was my least favorite of the segments. And in that segment, Lemon just continues to remind me why he's such a, such a weird fucking character. Seriously. Oh my god, so creepy. Oh my god. Anyways, though. So that was the second segment. And the third segment, as I said before in this review, was my favorite segment. It was basically about the survival game club wanting to eat a crab, Platy, and Platy wanting to save the crab. And, it, and then the survival game club goes up against Platy. They basically sh are firing their fucking machine guns, handguns, and bazookas all over the fucking city. Like, I stopped questioning this series a long fucking time ago, okay? I'm being perfectly fucking honest with you there. I really have, so don't think that... So, so don't think I'm acting like this here because I'm questioning it. I'm not questioning it. It was just... <clears throat> wow. I don't think it was as crazy as that one episode. I think it was like two episodes two, a couple weeks ago where we had the Survival Game Club going a, a lot... Racing along the countryside with their weapons fighting a bunch of old people... It wasn't quite that weird, but it was still like, whoa. You know, so that was definitely my favorite segment, okay? And my favorite thing in this episode is probably reaffirming once again that Sonokawa is not, a, is not, a, not an innocent little girl. And I love her for it. <sighs> so yes, but anyways, overall this episode I thought was great, okay? It provided so much fucking comedic value. Which is what this series does best, definitely. Even at the end there, when it looks like it's going to get some... Uh, going to be actually emotions running there, which it, there kind of is in a cheesy sort of way, because that's kind of how the emotions always are in this series. It quickly reverts to a comedic ending, and I love it for it. Seriously. So anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. These after guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.